Greetings, everybody! T. Prar once again. Applejack and Rarity. You could hardly ask for two points who are more opposite of each other. One's an apple farmer who's not afraid to speak her mind. The other's a fashionista with a flair for the dramatic. Their clashing personalities were best exemplified in Look Before You Sleep back in Season 1. And yet, they also have a lot in common. Both are kind and hardworking. Both have close bonds with her younger sisters, and both are close friends with her royal studiousness, Twilight Sparkle. Whether in a platonic or pseudo-romantic light, these two work adorably well off each other when paired up, and it's not difficult to see how close they become. But what happens when one of Applejack's best traits backfires against the one thing Rarity prides herself most dearly on? This episode, that's what... Without further ado, let's jump right into Season 7, Episode 9, Honest Apple. Let's get to it! Hello, m'lady. Hello, Spike. Oh, thank you so much for helping me with these flyers, Spike. I'm so lucky you just happened to be walking past the boutique. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. I just happened to be walking past. <laughs> huh, what a lucky happenstance, huh? What you got here? Hi, Pinky. I figured you'd already be good, the guitar pinks. It's a call for submissions. Fashion contest I'm organizing. A showcase for aspiring young designers. And into the main it goes. Thank you. I remember how difficult it was to break into the fashion industry when I was starting out. That's why the winner of the contest will get to debut their line in the Carousel Boutique. Sounds good to me. So selfless. So generous. <laughs> she is pretty amazing, Spike. Esteemed fashion critic Hoity Toity and iconic fashion photographer Photo Finish to come to Ponyville and judge the show. Been a while since we've seen those two. Wait until you hear who else will be a judge. Countess Coratura? Sassy Saddles? Spike? <laughs> of course you'd volunteer yourself, the little buddy. Judge for the Carousel Boutique's Couture de Future Fashion Contest is none other than... Applejack! What? 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 You already said that, Doug. Is there an echo out here? I had to say it again because that's how confused I am. You want me to judge a fashion show? I'd be pretty perplexed too, AJ. Once we hear them, all of this will make sense. I admit, Applejack is an unorthodox choice, but that is precisely what makes her an inspired choice. Well, that explains everything. Except it doesn't. Still doesn't make any sense. Hoity Toity has expertise in fabric and stitch work. Photo Finish has an artistic eye for shapes and colors. But sometimes we designers forget about practicality. That's where you come in. You uh, are a practical pony, I'm AJ. Too practical. My closet's nothing but 20 versions of this hat. Which oh, we know. We've seen that closet. Else. Besides, a judge must be honest. And you're the most honest pony there is. Ask any pony, they'll tell you. You were chosen for the element of honesty, after have all. Have heard of Applejack? The most honest pony there is? Sure have. Honest, See? faithful, and true so, blue. What do you say? That's our Applejack. Well, if I'm being honest, I don't think I'm the right pony for the job. Fashion just ain't my bag of oats. Aw, oh, come on, Pinky. It's her choice. But before you say no, sleep on it? Sure. I guess I can do that for you. It is a big decision to make, after all. Aw, thanks, Rarity. Yeah, I know, Big Mac. I was just as surprised as you are. Apple Bloom, I'm sorry, but that hey, hat's just not you. Me? Judging a fashion show? <laughs> big Mac doesn't even need to say anything. That expression speaks volumes. As a matter of fact, it speaks whole libraries. I do it. It sounds like fun getting to see all those pretty outfits. Well, you're the exception in our family, Sugar Cube. You know about that kind of stuff. Probably got I it from Sweetie Belle. Like bird knot on a sapling tree. <laughs> Little oh, off there, honey. Rarity did say I just had to focus on practicality. 
She already has experts for the fashiony stuff. True. Yeah, but I still wouldn't know what to say. Whoops. Come on, Apple Bloom. You're doubling our workload here. Sorry. I wanted to wear a signature hat like yours, but it's making it harder to see. That's Apple Bloom, honey, you're both like just I. fine. You don't need a fancy scarf to keep your hat on. Now you can see. Well, there you go. Hey, see? Much better. Thanks, Applejack. Sure thing. You know what? I am gonna help Rarity judge her show. I think my sensible every pony take on fashion is exactly what the pony community needs. At a girl. Rarity, I thought about it some more, and if you still need me, I'd love to be a judge. Good on you, AJ. I just knew you'd come around. Aww. I, photo finish, have arrived. As has Hoity Toity. Good to see you both again. Good to see you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I love you, Photo. Glad to see you're all still on good terms. You in Manhattan last week. Miss Pomel is showing. I thought she was still making costumes. Guess we really can't call her Coco anymore. Still, good for her. Absolutely stunning. It sure is great to hear Miss Pomel is doing so well. Who is this who speaks? Your fellow oh, judge, oh, that's who. Jack, another one of the judges. So, Judge, what do you think? Oh, wow. Uh, that is just wow. These are clothes. And there you have it, folks. Photo finish reveals her eyes at last. Honestly, I'm so used to her glasses that I just can't picture her any other way, you know? The photo is upside down. This is very looks like a interesting. Ball. <laughs> Did they have to roll her down the runway? <laughs> Good grief, AJ. That's just I can't rude. Any pony would actually wear this. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh my. I, I can't believe she said that. Well, Rarity, you want her to be honest. You should have mentioned that she ought to be tactful as well. Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to make her faint. Oh, don't worry about it, darling. Uh, it happens all the time. She's pretty... dramatic. Besides, that dress did look a bit like a disco ball. Although, Miss Pomel is making the point that no matter what we wear, it is a costume of some kind or another. Good point. I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's okay. Let's go meet the designers and help them get ready for the show. We go. Designers, welcome. Hello, Today, designers. We'll work on your designs, and we judges will offer our guidance and advice as you prepare for tomorrow's big show. Okay, Lily Lace, tell us about your inspiration. Lily Lace. You guys, this morning on my way here, I heard a bird singing literally the most beautiful song I'd ever heard. And I wanted to capture not so much the bird's song exactly, but more like how the wind carried the bird's song. Oh my gosh, that is like so inspired. In all seriousness, she's got a pretty design. Kind of reminds me of a unicorn Fluttershy. Powerful, yet at the same time, fragile and delicate. Well said, Hoity. Uh, huh? Next up, meet Starstreak. Starstreak. Awesome Are name, cool design. What's already been done. Only what will exist in the future. Wow, he's got an ambitious mm. vision, this Tomorrow's guy. fashion belongs to those who hear it coming. I think poor AJ's a little lost. Hi, I'm Anki Rouse. Well, hello, Inky Rose. Or is it Wednesday Adams? You have a very focused vision. A strong sense of what you want. It's good. Yeah, so good. You've been rather quiet. What do you think? Well, it's a lot of black. It's kind of depressing. Well, that's just her style, AJ. How's this? Makes a world of difference. Maybe to fashion experts like you, but to ponies like me, it's still black. 
Mm. AJ, and, uh, please. Sure you You're upsetting the her. Or the future. You're upsetting all of them. I don't think they liked what I had to say. Geez, Shadow Spade, what tipped you off? She needs a healthy dose of practicality now and then. Practicality, yes, but not so much that it ruins the original vision. These artists have their own unique styles, and the styles themselves aren't what you should be finding fault in. Ah, custom Are you ripping. Holes in the clothes on purpose? It's to create a distressed look. More like an old and tattered look. When a pony's old clothes get holes in them, they don't want to go to the store to buy new clothes with holes in them. AJ, that's not the point. That's part of Inky's particular style. And some people like a few artful rips and tears in their clothing. Having a few holes doesn't necessarily mean it's old and worn. Okay, yes. Not a very practical choice. Fashionable, but not practical. Now that's pretty. Sure, it looks pretty, but that's a lot of fabric. With the way it drags behind, it'll be covered in dirt in no time. Thank goodness I'm here, otherwise we'd have had holes in clothes and dirty dresses. Well, yes, having the hem too long and dragging along the ground is a practical problem, but a good designer knows how to account for that. Besides, you make it sound like they'd be wearing it everywhere they go on a day-to-day -day basis, when you usually only see this sort of thing at a nice, dirt-free social gathering. Poor Lily. Mm. Hey, I think it looks cute. No look is complete without mane and makeup. So, uh, when are you gonna do her mane? Oh, it's already been done. <laughs> yeah, that's about as awkward as asking a lady when the babies do, but it turns out she's just overweight. Real collar tug situation there. <laughs> What? Uh, I think we've given the designers enough guidance for today. Let's, uh, let them finish their work. Yeah, spare them from any oh, more of your critiquing, AJ. Oh, so <laughs> boy. Hey, Pinks. Hey, Applejack, on your way home? How'd the first day of the contest go? <laughs> Great! At first, I didn't think I'd be much help. But thank goodness I signed on. Without me, they'd be doing all kinds of crazy fashion-y things. Well, at least you're in a good mood. Hey, Rarity! Applejack says the contest is going great! Good thing she's there, huh? Yeah, uh, of course. yeah. Some good thing. Tough to swallow, but hopefully her candor will help the designers achieve the best designs possible. And AJ was full of stress. candor today. Wanna try? Music is very relaxing! Now, who could possibly say no to that face? Pinky always knows how to turn her frown upside down. She's practically got a laughter and smile theory. What? A rock doctorate's called a rock doctorate, so it only makes sense that a laughter doctorate's a laughter it. Pinky would approve, I'm sure. Sure. Mm. Woo! Rock on, Rarity! Milady, that was freaking amazing! I know your human counterpart skill with the piano and the guitar, but who would have guessed you could shred like no pony else? He even blew Pinky away, and left her speechless, and that doesn't happen often. <sighs> I can meet my goals. Today is a fresh start! Today is a new day! For final adjustments before the show. Very nice, Inky. Sleek and stylish. You done it. To me, they convey waking up an hour early just to button them all. And that's if you could reach most of them. Yeah, but I don't think this was made to be everyday wear, AJ. That's a lot of buttons. Is this better? <laughs> there you go. Now when it's cold, you just slide it on you and you're set. Like a poncho. AJ, I know you mean um, well, but honestly... I attached each feather individually. <laughs> it took me for literally ever. <laughs> Painstaking effort, Lily. Oh, you use 
just hoof cross double over stitches. Oh, they're perfect. Who cares if it's stitched perfectly? You don't need feathers on your head. Hey, no! Bad Applejack! Stop that! My little sister tried to add some flair to her hat, and guess what it got her? An extra hour of work picking apples off the ground. AJ, it's not a work hat. I can't believe you! A good start, but it needs more. No. No. No! <laughs> Be careful, yes. Photo. I'd go with this one. No, this one! <laughs> Something it's funny? What? Oh, no, uh, it's just... I mean, those belts look the same. Oh boy. Anybody else getting flashbacks from Tradia? You're kidding, right? Is everything okay? They're having a heated debate about those two belts. Ooh, both good choices. No, <laughs> of course Rarity no gets it. Choice. They're the exact same belt. Uh, this is so silly. Fashion is ridiculous. <gasps> oh crap, baskets. AJ, I know this isn't your thing, and it's not even my cup of tea. But of all the things you could have said in front of all these designers and ponies of fashion, that was one of the worst. You don't mean that. I do. I'm sorry, but that's my honest opinion. Oh, well, Applejack. I never would have come if I knew we were going to be insulted. Honestly, Hoity, I don't blame you. No, Photo's not standing for this either. If they're out, I'm out too. I didn't get into fashion to design boring utilitarian clothes. I want to create elegance and drama, and this is literally the opposite of... I mean, I can't even... Yeah, no. She didn't say much, but she said enough. <laughs> what? Oh, Rarity. I just being honest. AJ, I'm sorry, but... You really made a mess of things. Stop everything! There is no show! Take it all down! And the season of Pony Tears continues. Is everything okay? No! It is the opposite of okay! The judges have quit, the designers have dropped out, the show is cancelled! All my good intentions squashed! <laughs> Poor Rarity. It's all Applejack's fault! Well, yes and no. It was your idea to put her on a panel of judges in a fashion show, but she really should have been more careful with what she said. Why are you mad at me? I was just saying what I thought. And isn't that why you wanted me to be a judge? For my honesty? But that of isn't course. the point you here. You said fashion is ridiculous! But it's my opinion, and I'm not gonna lie! You're not a fashionista, though. Hello! Oh, Rarity! Oh, what a nice surprise! Hello, Strawberry Sunrise! This Strawberry is Sunrise! I was Cute to name! How you feel about apples. Don't like them! What? Well, that's Why? just your preference! They're crunchy, they're sweet, they're delicious! <laughs> they're not strawberries! Personally, I like both apples and strawberries! Right. Apples are better than strawberries! Only if by better you mean better at being disgusting. It's her opinion, <laughs> and she's not gonna lie. Oh, I'm sorry, but you actually bite into those tasteless mealy worm filled things. Oh. Not every pony likes apples, AJ. And while she could stand to be a little less snotty about it, she just doesn't know how hard you work to grow them. What? Now, now, take Why it easy. Just Strawberry's honest opinion. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Well, fine if she doesn't like them, but if she knew how hard we worked to make our apples perfect, maybe she wouldn't be so mean about it. Now do you see? Ooh. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> doesn't feel so good, does it? Nope. Nope. No, it does not at all. <sighs> I am so sorry, Rarity. I got so carried away with being honest, I guess I didn't think about how I was making others feel. <sighs> I'm a real rotten apple. Aw, oh, hey, Jay. I appreciate that, Applejack. That means a lot. I just wish you'd realize it before you ruined the fashion show. 
It's too early to say it's over, milady. <laughs> Look at him sharing that thing. These. It's the only way to travel. Whoop! What are you doing? Your ride's just been hijacked. Yep, but you're not going back to Canterlot yet. Not just yet. Hey! What is she? I don't know. Run. <laughs> they have pretty good reason to be wary of her. You're not outrunning that workhorse leg power. Hey, hard hat. I thought I was just being honest when I said all those things. But some pony helped me realize I was actually being hurtful. So for that, I apologize. I forgive you, AJ. So, you don't think fashion is ridiculous? Uh, well, I, uh, I still don't understand it. But I appreciate how much it means to y'all. And how much hard work you put into it. Aww. I also know this contest is important to Rarity. So, what do you say? Come on, guys. Give it another chance. Well, I'd hate to have come all this way here and not see what you can do. That's the spirit, Hoity. We're in. Under one condition. Literally. Anything. Untie us? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard for them to work if they can't use their hooves. Show's back on, fellers! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These guys just can't catch a break. Perfect. Nice work. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. He even got a smile out of her. Aw, AJ, you look darling. Good job, Pinks. How? They were all leaving. This was all coming down. Not anymore, my lady. She literally did it all by herself. I don't think that word means what you think it means, but I did bust my tail because I know how much this means to you. Aw, AJ. Thank you, Applejack. <laughs> Way to share the mood photo. First up, Lady Lace. Very nice. Flashy. Inky Rose. Is this the first male model the show's had? I'm not sure. Nice spider cutie and now mark. It's time to vote. I am drawn to the beauty and drama of fashion. And no pony does drama better than Lily Lace, so I vote for her. It means so much to me. I literally can't even. <laughs> <laughs> She's a gem. She is the keynote of true elegance. That is why I vote for Inky Rose. You've made me so happy. <laughs> Not used to the feeling, huh, Inky? I, photo finish, vote for Star Trek! Wonderful to hear, darling. I like all three of you. It all comes down to you, Applejack. Can you believe it? After everything that's happened, Applejack is the deciding vote. Ah, this is so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Don't pressure her, Pinky. Roses will go there, and Star Streaks there. A three-way tie. But I couldn't pick just one. They all did great, and in my opinion, they all deserve to win. And it's okay, AJ. I'm pretty indecisive too sometimes. Is uh, this one of your new designs, Rarity? It's a. Uh, the form is reminiscent of a. Uh, I mean, it conjures up images of. Uh, well. Uh, <laughs> Come on, I mean, Applejack. No need to fudge it. No. I totally messed that one up. It's ghastly, horrid, absolutely terrible. It is pretty <laughs> ugly. Oh, goodness, because in my honest opinion, it's awful. <laughs> 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 now that's honesty we can definitely appreciate.
Oh, man. It always makes me glad to see some new rare Jack material. Like I said, these two just work so well off each other. And they're so cute together, like Starlight and Trixie. Yeah, they bicker like an old married couple when their interests and personalities clash. But don't they say that opposites attract? Besides, even from a non-romantic angle, they balance each other out in a yin-yang sort of way. And this episode was no exception. Rarity deciding to put Applejack on the same panel of judges as herself, hoity-toity, and photo finish? Seems like an odd choice at first glance. Though it was great seeing those two again, when they haven't had a big role since Season 1. Still, Rarity trusts in Applejack as both a friend and a pony with an honest, candid frame of mind. She thought AJ's sense of practicality would help in critiquing the works of the three designers, Lily Lace, Starstreak, and Inky Rose. However, while AJ did make a few legitimate points on practicality, like she did with Apple Bloom's hair or the hem of Lily's dress, she started to get carried away in the role Rarity gave her, and her honesty was becoming more of a hindrance than a help, pretty much stamping all over the individual creativity of each of the designers. What Rarity should have accounted for was that she, Applejack, had negligible knowledge when it comes to fashion, and she was viewing it all from the perspective of a farm pony wearing those clothes in her own day-to-day -day life. Rarity might not have made the wisest choice in choosing her based solely on the fact that she was honest and practical, and should have explained the value of creativity in fashion, while also saying she ought to be more tactful about what she said. On the other hand, AJ should have known Rarity long enough to know the value of hard work put into outfits like that. So, when she blew her top and summed up her feelings in those three words, fashion is ridiculous, it was about the same as a middle finger to everything Rarity and those designers held dear in their line of work. It took Rarity giving her a taste of her own medicine via a pony who dislikes apples to get her to see where she went wrong, and set about saying things right. Honesty is a double-edged sword. It can be both helpful and hurtful. To quote Proverbs 12.18, New International Version, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. If you're not careful with your words, you can really hurt those around you, even though you never meant to. I know how that feels, believe me. Even if something's not to your liking, you shouldn't just say it's horrible, case closed, especially when the person who made it put a lot of work into it. It's necessary to find that proper balance, to be both honest and helpful. It's called constructive criticism, something everyone needs to take to heart, both in making it and receiving it. A nice little bit of Rarity Jack, all in all. Also, Rarity shredding on that guitar, pure, unadulterated awesomeness. Until next time, see ya!